guys, welcome on in. Uh, we're about to try to get, I think, eight of them. Oh, really? Only three of them fit in there. Well, then. More life. Drive active. We just want to kill things. Um, yeah, what's up, IR? How are you, dude? Hello. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Oh, this thing's taking a little bit of time to... FTL soundtrack band. Hmm. Warp drive active. I'm back in system. Hooray! Yo, what's up? <laughs> we just chillin', man. We, we're about to do. We're, we're gonna do some exploration, but I think we'll do that a little bit later. So we're just chilling right now. Doing that facky war, the facky war. St no, there he is at zero. Oh no, he's actually at uh, fifty from the opposite side. He warped from the Aboon gate to it, and now he just warped away to a safe that's closest to the other side of the gates, if you will. Whatever that side is, I'm outside. Mhm. Mm Warp drive active. So far, he's just in a safe, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's like, F this. What are you up to today, dude? It's a fun time, work life. Work, 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 work. Yeah, I was supposed to do exploration a moment ago, and then I um, I got talking to some of these guys here I'm with now in the fleet, and uh, one thing led to another, and now I'm like, I bet some I jumped into some faction warfare again. <laughs> and of course, in our MOA. Which I, um, ever since yesterday, I went to buy one after, and I'm just like, I don't know, I, I really like this ship. really like it. I don't know what fit to really use with it, um, so I'm using, like, the basic one I was using yesterday. Finally, some cruisers, right? Um, so yeah, I kind of was just saying, yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna play around with the cruiser today a little bit, if I can. I have a few of them lined up, um, so... Kind of wanted to see what's up, but yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is fun, man. I like the MOA. I, I definitely am not used to flying a cruiser ship like this, so it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. So we actually burnt our guns out yesterday when we were fighting this. Oh, that's not the one. That's from the other day. And where is it here? So this one. We died to a hookbill pirate, and I burnt my guns out because I just, I guess I just was not paying attention, and I thought I must have, I thought I clicked it to take, turn them off, the burn, and it so happened that I didn't, and they burnt out, and I was like, oh my god, we just got kited by a fucking hookbill. <laughs> 
so we died and it was it was a glorious death of, of a very slow painful one um but it was a ggs and it is what it is but yeah i kind of learned my lesson and so i'm thinking now like fuck man if i fight frigates i gotta figure out how to kind of counter that so what i decided to do was i decided to then go ahead and um and put on small blasters because i thought maybe if i put small blasters i would be able to um i'd be able to like take out frigates with it so i was thinking about doing some something like that and uh, i wonder if it would work if i put small guns on this big thing to to actually take out frigates you know do you think that's a thing because i don't know Oh no! Yes. Yes. Just do it, you'll be cool. <laughs> I want more skins for this. Not a good thing usually. What bonuses does this ship have? So this ship actually has some very interesting bonuses. So it has armor resist bonus. Uh, well... All shield resists, I should say, and medium hybrid turrets. So that's that's all it really has. It's pretty much a pew pew ship, right? And it has good, supposedly good defensive measures to it. Double fitting slots, regenerating slows, and it's and so on. See, so pretty cool. I don't have level three um, on it at the moment. I definitely don't. I have level mastery two for it. But yeah, if we look at the ship tree, I don't have anything but, uh, again, level um, level 3 cruisers. So like, I'm definitely not utilizing those as much. So I think eventually I'm going to train it to 5. Can I run the cash with this thing, I wonder? We don't know cash in the system, I don't think, but I wonder if I can run this. The MOA. Wait, what? There's... Where? Here? Oh, okay. I'm just... Warp drive active. I'm gonna head over to, uh, location. Really? So it's not a good thing. Interesting. So even having smaller weapons to shoot a frigate will not be a good thing. Hmm. I thought that it would be more easier for my ship to, to kill it because of it being like, you know, it's a small gun and it doesn't, it can't get under my guns because they're small. So I assume that would work, that trick. So you're saying not a good idea. Hmm. That's super interesting though. Don't do anything without me, I'm here. Are you already on one? Fuck, which one? Copy, I'm gonna get to my safe here right in a second and then warp there. <laughs> you are the weakest. <laughs> drive active. On my way now. Other ships get bonuses for that small <clears throat> weapon, so might be better to use that. Okay, I see. Just get a different ship to do that then instead of like being in a MOA and doing it. <laughs> oh fuck, you already did it? Oh, thank God. I'll say, you sick puppy. Yes. Got it. Drive active. 
All right, enjoy the lurky lurk, brother. How did the MOA beat you guys from getting there first? That's weird. I wonder if it's that agile. Interesting. I almost felt like it was going to be slower. It's so big. forgetting I have drones. Drive active. It's like I feel like I'm playing uh, Mario Brothers when you got the kind of like the music going on right now. This is the easy LP right here, Bastion Supply Depots. And this is what you do to destroy supply caches so that uh so wait doing this right it gives us advantage is that how that works oh it loses their advantage if we do this and then i guess we get an advantage yeah What about the open? Warp drive active. Are we are we sorry, did anybody say they're going open? Oh, there's two opes. Oh, fuck, three. Uh, you could be here. I'll go to the other place here. Warp drive active. Oh, 
Which one? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Man, oh man. Yeah, the MOBA is really fun. Oh shit, seven minutes? Bro, I have like half the time in here. I have like seven minutes in this large, man. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, somebody must have been running this shit and left somehow for some reason. Man, oh man. A walks her to shirk in my sight. Question mark. A walks her that though shirk is in my advance one sight with me. I'm kind of confused. I linked it just in the chat. Uh, K X U. He's in that uh, bellicose. I'll link it or whatever it's called. Combat recon shit. Why is it in Russian for me? What the fuck? Wait, walks are Dashirik? It's weird because... Go ahead. Yeah, every time he's with me inside of Plexus, he hasn't done anything to me yet, and... He has, though, followed... Like, yesterday with one guy I was with when I started my stream, he followed the one dude and, like, literally approached him and just kept following him on approach. So, like, he was acting sus. He didn't do anything... But he's just he's sus. Where is this? Wait, mate.
That's brutal. <laughs> the hugging is status web, medium projectile turns, medium projectile turn, rate of fire, tar paint. Yeah, that's just like scary shit. Pretty crazy. Two minutes on mine. Yeah, we're just plexing, taking some stuff, you know, making sure we can keep holding our, our stuff together here in some of the systems. Um, so that's been just really good. And um, I'm going to be moving to doing, not moving like character, I'm just going to be moving into uh, exploration here in like, could be within the uh, next hour or so. So right now. Oh, that's strange. Any update on the top uh, right corner there with like an arrow pointing down? I know the browser launcher had an update like yesterday for me or day before, but I don't know if you ever got that or did it. Oh, well then, yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Oh shit. A drift loon. That looks like a lot of fun. How's everyone doing today? Happy Tuesday. We've turned ads off, by the way, for the next week. Today will be considered the first day of no ads. Yesterday was how we achieved the ad thing. So starting today and then, you know, four more days after today being the, again, the first day, we'll have no ads. The only ads that will ever show is the ones that I personally have a campaign with the company called show.gg. And then Twitch has its own 30 second ad, I believe that they run and I have no control over it. So like, those are the only things that you guys would ever see if you were here in the stream and uh you know caught an ad or whatever so there's one that i just cannot control i have no okay. who's the orthrus question mark caracal are they friendlies or Drive active. Welcome in everybody. Hope you're all doing well. We're just doing some some plexing. Um, there could be some PvP involved, but right now at the moment, it's just you know we wait for that to happen if it does. But there's no like guaranteed on the PvP ever in Faction Warfare unless you kind of just sit and see what's up. Oh, you're already inside here? Yeah, okay. Uh, 
I see him buddies in our medium. I'm heading to the other open now. Yeah, that's where I'm heading, I believe. That's uh, me, the one that you just said earlier, Wa. I put in fleet chat. Oh, seems like somebody's here already with us. Okay. What? I thought this thing was in, in the media. What? My D scan's broken. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go to Warp drive active. This site. Yeah, cruisers, man. Faction Warfare cruisers, really cool. I'm so confused. Y'all ran with Kerry Huggins and probably the Moa Adventure. Good, he doesn't know it's me. That's great. I mean, he could be in my stream, to be fair. That's wild. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got points, Scram. Yep. I linked in Fleet Chat. <laughs> hey, I was just there. I didn't park my car here. We were, but the sites were, for us, too big, uh, or too small. And we couldn't fit for some of us. So. Oh shit, I'm about to hit it. No way. Facts. Warp drive active. I really love this ship. This MOA is so clean, like, I just want a better skin. Like, the skin that I would like to have on this thing is, like, um, where is it? This one, obviously, the milk, the milk one. This one is pretty cool, but that'd be like a third choice. This one is a very, very cool one because it's part of like the permaban thing. Dixon Moth, I think that's the guy from yesterday. Um, this one though, the Red Eyes Black Dragon skin, I am just like, I like that skin. That is so clean. Warp drive active. I'm curious who's that quorum that's there. Oh, perfect. Correct, yeah, I'm, I'm coming in warp now to you, the MOA. Sweet. Okay, okay, so I'll be landing gate with you. Dixon needs comms link, I guess. Ready to slide? Warp drive active.
Should I assist you over there, Ab? I'm gonna go to point A. I almost think I should have just put a A, B, or a thing on here. Wait, did you switch comms? Question mark? Oh, they did. Just realized they did. Just realized you switched comms. Um, yeah, that's where I'm headed now, slow boating too. Or B, sorry. Uh, that's friendly from what it looked like. I saw him just pop in. I think we need two, right? Because we have one right now. Yeah, so we need two. I'm in a cruiser. Uh, you, you should come to B for sure as well, one of you, because I'm just here temporarily here. No, I'm good. The mo is still good. We got a shit ton of pee.
Do we have Lodgy on grid? Can I get Lodgy on my side here? I've just marked myself Felix Lee Jones. What do we got? Armor or shield? Oh, that's beautiful. Just one warrior on the battle cruiser. There you go. Meanwhile, I'm just getting wrecked here. Pulling away from B because uh, MC is going to spawn and get me good. Uh, Krom, uh, this is the weirdest module setup I've ever seen. Is it actually? Like, you mean the way I have it lined up? To give the command to a drone requires you to have an active target. Well, oh, thank you, Lodgy. there uh, and you guys are set up now here for a you got just literally one guy with one drone should be on that BEC thank you Lodgy come with me um Dipco, if you can follow me through uh, the what is that spee over there that need help, so I can lodge you. You can lodge me here and help. I'll help it uh, clear. I love cruisers. Honestly, I've never flown the Moa like to a point of like, okay, what what does a Moa have on it? How does it, you know, how is it fitted? I I never have that. So, Owen eyes outside. Osprey navies. Oh yeah, I should check local. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that works.
Yeah, so I'm not used to the whole thing with, um, specifically like this, um, like the, a cruiser, right? So I don't know how cruisers work as well. Like at least I, I've flown a Caracal a lot, but the Moa I've never messed with. So I don't even know what a fitting looks like for a Moa besides what I kind of did when I upgraded the T version, like the LSP one, the alpha fitted one, I guess to say. I, um, yeah, I decided to upgrade a little bit on that. So that's kind of where I'm at when it comes to, um, welcome back to this MOA and, like, understanding it. Oh good, it's done. Now they gotta wait for the next wave. Weird that he killed this guy. Holy fuck. That abyssal's for life. That thing is humongous, dude. Man, AB is so slow for a MOA though. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Ship is massive. That's nasty, dude. That is sick. Yeah, it's at 68%. You take the dangerous way. <laughs> I would avoid that.
Hmm. Okay, we got a battle cruiser, I think. Yeah, we do. Perfect. All right, Logi, thank you. You can, uh, I guess, take care of anyone else that needs Logi in their uh, capture points. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yo, Milk, T-Pex, how are you, dude? Welcome on in. Good to see you. What are you up to today, dude? Heading to the Galante Beacon. And even Logi can Logi it. <laughs> Lucian, I'm assuming. Nah. Wow. Almost done. See how we do. Yo, Bomber, what up, man? What it do, bro?
<laughs> I have a corpse of Abby. Where's Third Eyes? I haven't seen him in forever. Oh yeah, Magus. Okay, we can blap that one when we got here at the gate. Your fact, yeah. The glorious battlefield. Happy Tuesday, guys. Thanks for being in here. We're doing some faction warfare for the state. We uploaded the uh, epic arc of um, Sisters of Eve. Yeah, I saw that, by the way. The Awoxers, they're doing it right now. The ones on them. Yeah, they're trying to really... Bro, that's... Mm. Sun dust. I pleaded with them. Why are they being like this? Yeah, I, pl I pleaded with them last time. Could definitely be that. I would hope that. That's annoying. Yeah. 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 So the battle cruisers is the only one you don't want to kill. And like there will be waves of them coming in. As long as there's one battle cruise in that wave, you save it with literally um, while well, killing everything else, and then you sit in the point. And you have to have a drone because it's most efficient. One drone on the battle cruiser will push it out of the circle and just like fuck with it, and then you just capture. That's it. Yeah, I'm pushing, but I'm slow. What's wrong with these people? And you gotta be in the distance. Gotta be in distance. I've tried it all the way in the sky, and I didn't get LP for it. Yeah. Yeah. No, those are, uh, well, they're militia, so, but yeah, they're not us in our fleet. And they also don't realize how to do it. Yeah, because of that. That's right. Did he actually? Why would he do that? No, oh, he did. That's awesome. Yo, what up, Will? How are you? Welcome on in, dude. Happy Tuesday. Where is that? Oh, they already got it anyway again. Shit, I was... Uh... 
Ah. Yeah, not happening. Will be our battlefield for sure. Good, good battlefield though. Good battlefield. Osprey Navy issue. There are great ships for like what Buddy, not Abby, but like there's some guy named Nothing in Local, I believe. He's the one who crafted it and it's it's doing great. CEO. Director, yeah. For the state! For the state! Oh, you know it, baby. Too bad we couldn't get that kill there earlier. That would have been funny. to get paid 121 hundred at 21 L paid same oh not go but I'm going to Navy take care Abby I gotta go rep up though actually King Pat's was hilarious. <laughs> He's just like shilling. That's so funny. Warp drive active. That was great. That was great. Good shit. That was a good amount of LP right there, dude. Now we're at like... Now we're killing it when it comes to LP. That was good, man. That was a really good, easy battlefield. Very nice. I love this MOA, though. I really want that red eyes black dragon skin. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Really do. Sniper's in his comet now. Target, yep. Warp drive active. No, no, not right now. No, I can't. <laughs> no, no, I'd have to go. I, I, I was saying goodbye to you guy if you had them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a crazy LP to be in. Look, see, Ronit, now you're the FC. 
Yeah, it's just him. <laughs> See what happens. Well, how are you? Let's get it, man. Today is a today is a big battles happening in terms of control, man. We got we're working on some better control right now today. I really want that red eyes black dragon skin. Take care, dude. Mm, Eighteen hundred. We're kind of in that, right? I'm gonna try an 800 orbit. Take care, you guys. Take care. Yeah, yeah. I'm here still. I'm not like we can yeah. So, wait. Why if I go that? It doesn't do it? Question mark? Is it because it's just too big? How about that? I guess it tightens up that way, so maybe there is no real good comfy zone so maybe let's keep it five got a merlin belt come to me here at this large 10-4 not that i'm afraid of it but you know wow i'm surprised it's not taking this shit down what's going on here i think it's my uh, the large, uh, maybe one at, uh... No, I'm gonna mow with blasters, but I think it's because I put a newt on it that it take away some of my DPS. But the weird part is I'm running three mags on the bottom to give DPS, so I'm kind of... And even a gun turn, uh, rig, so I'm, like, doing about 319 DPS. Nothing crazy, but fuck. Feels like I'm not even killing this battle cruiser. That, that makes sense. Oh, I have drones. What an idiot. Why am I not using drones? I did this yesterday and I died to somebody because I forgot I had drones. Damn. Hey, that's doing a lot better. The Merlin's also helping with that. That's great. Thrasher outside. 10 4. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Bruce, what's up, Blair? How are you? Yo, Cole, what's up? Yeah, the drones, right? <laughs> I'm just out here like, yo, I need drones. I didn't even remember I had drones, bro. Yesterday I died to a hook mill because I, I burnt my guns out. And um, <laughs> it was a sad death. But yeah, we died to a pirate hook mill yesterday. I burned my guns by accident. I forgot that I had drones. So it was just like... It was just bad, dude. It was just like, what a, what, what a, it was terrible motion. It's a very sad day for the, for the MOA. <laughs> oh, that shit was hilarious. I bought a new MOA here that I'm flying so I could fly it. And, uh, but yeah, man, 
freaking hilarious. Okay, question mark? What's going on right now? Am I not, like, bruv? What the fuck is happening in this game? Well, you got some spare stuff though. Right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I I didn't I didn't use uh, any of the of the moas that was sent our way. I literally went to Gita last night and bought a moa because I was just kind of liking the moa, and uh, and yeah, and I put together the same fit that I had that you sent, but I upgraded it just a tad to you know give it a little bit more more stuff on it and uh and then even then i i made a second moa that was something i wanted to theory craft but i haven't tested that one out just yet yes i have to update to t2 so i don't have those skills right now for blasters for t2s on a medium e and i outside e and i oh he yeah he's still outside yeah i'm still gonna try to fight him he seems to be by himself. I put the code in the fleet chat if anybody wants to take part. I'm going to test the fight if it does happen. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Hook bill, yeah. But yeah, I gotta do the T2 still. Uh, Moa is the closest you can get to a Galante ship without being Galante. Really? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't, you can, yeah, so I have to update T2s for sure, or else this thing would be like... I don't know, T1s are okay, but they're not great. Outside already? Are you tackled? Wait, what's going on? Oh my goodness, this guy. Say something next time, please. That's hilarious. No, I didn't. I'm sorry I didn't hear that. Nope. Ah, yeah, I must have just... Must have blanked on it. I'm a pothead, sorry. <laughs> I'll have to clean my ears a little bit more. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah, so T2 is for sure. I definitely got to, um, I got to upgrade. That's for sure. Because they will definitely make things a little bit easier to, um, to mess around with, if you will. I know, right? It's, it's so nice. And I like the skin that it has, but I, I can't, I haven't gotten it yet. It's, um, I call it the, the Red Eyes Black Dragon skin, like a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. It's really funny. Uh, where is it here? The Rata Sunset. Yeah, so Red Eyes, Black Dragon. That's kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh reference, but this is the skin I want to get eventually. Oh, good. You got it. Nice. Yo, I'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I went to tournaments and all for it. Was invited to uh, Battle uh, Battle City that they had, like a little like gimmicky kind of thing they did for Yu-Gi-Oh like the TV show, so really cool. But yeah, I'm a, I love you. I still have all my decks and everything. Definitely enjoy the... I actually, actually streamed the Duel Masters. I did that as well, that I streamed. And I thought that was really fun, and I loved it. I used to play with Fright Fears. Did they allow theme decks from the series? They are usually banned. Um, yeah, so I personally didn't end up getting to go. And even though I got invited, I actually didn't go to the events. Um, I think it was a situation of just not having the ride to get there or like transport to get there. So it was kind of sad. But uh, what I understood with the rules, though, was if you lost like in Battle City, if you lost, you would have to give up your best card to your to your opponent so that was another kind of like thing i was not really trying to do but probably would have at the end of the day to try it but i just didn't do it yeah it was pretty bad right i was like oh give my best card to to these people that i'm dueling ah oh, damn it i don't want to do that so that's kind of why i just didn't also go as well besides transportation 
And it was funny because then I was rocking 1900 four star monsters like the E, uh, what's it called? The, it was like fairy something. Mystical Elf, that's what it was called. Mystical Elf, and then you had like the other ones that were hitting at 2000, like the Dragon Car. Bro, I had a really like scummy deck, I would say. To... And the cool part was that shop that I went to participate in, they actually helped me build my deck and actually teach me how a Yu Gi Oh deck is synchronized and how it works. And I did not know that. I was such a noob at Yu Gi Oh back then. But ever since I joined their tournaments and went to their shops and bought my deck and everything, this Chinese guy was so nice to, like, really authentically teach me about the play the game and, like, what cards to buy and stuff like that. And I didn't know any of that, right? So I thought that was really fun and really cool that I had somebody teach me that was actually, like, in the Asian culture. Because to me, I feel like a lot of the Asian culture was heavily influenced in that uh, game and... A lot of people I fought were pretty new and not uh, familiarized with how to also be like actively good with their decks. So yeah, when this guy taught me and his wife, man, they like and they showed me they had their bro, they had a water deck and a fire deck, and the synchronization was just wild. And I was like, bro, what the f? And my deck, when you look at it, it was very like just unique. It was not a, it was not a synchronized deck. At, to an extent right to an extent um so yeah they really helped me so i kind of I, I got to learn what Yu Gi Oh really was when it came to uh when it came to really building a deck but yeah one of my favorite games to date though is uh is Yu Gi Oh for sure i really really until the same till this day even i still love playing Yu Gi Oh on like the master duel but yeah, I use Fright for Fluffles as my um, as my deck. One of my favorite OCG decks they have. Uh, yo, thanks for the follow, Dark. How are you, dude? Welcome on in. My name is Jeff. And we're just doing a fun stream of Faction Warfare. I was supposed to actually be doing uh, Exploration for Crimson Harvest again. And I literally just got a call to to come to the field and so doing that i um i ended up doing plexing now in that so <laughs> we're we're in the fair of faction warfare right now very unplanned faction warfare stream what are you up to today dude dark you play any eve online if so how long have you been playing that is easy for you isn't it you literally are supposed to be doing one thing and then you turn around and do another for the state <laughs> so but yeah I think we might still run a, a crimson harvest um, thing here God, the MOA is so beautiful, though. Ever since uh, Chris put me on the MOA, I've been just, like, in love with this thing. I Just the way it looks, um, kind of how simple it is. I have to upgrade my skills, though, for for Kaldari's um, cruiser thing. Can do a lot with him, right? I think that's sick, dude. It's 20, 2008. Oh my gosh, that is definitely some time, dude. And what do you, what do you really enjoy doing in Eve with your time, um, Dark? I don't even know the like a, a good fit for a Moa. I don't even know. Two thousand and five. Holy, you guys are on this. You guys are on this game. Recruiting. There you go. <laughs> That's always fun. What do you recruit for exactly? Like, uh, obviously your corporation, but like, what what is the what is the the corporation all about? What do you guys What do you guys specialize in? Do you have it, or can you say that? A O A O A O A O Alliance. No. Hmm. A O. What does A O stand for? Shoot. A O. Something operation. Oh, absolute order. Oh, absolute order. Okay, I've heard of them. I'm also new to Eve, though. I'm like under a year playing. My birthday for Eve is going to be on November the 14th, I think my character has. Yeah, November. Actually, yeah, November the uh, 14th. Yep. 
2022 is when I started playing this game with one character. Honor, absolute honor, our chill. See you guys flying around. Nice. Yo, dope. Yeah, this stream is uh, originally, I've done it as to be a, um, I play as a journalist and a live broadcasting uh, player. So what I do is I will fly around all of New Eden and do a lot of different activities to kind of showcase these things for people that may have never experienced it or they're new. Uh, if they're older, again, if they've never experienced it. So I get to showcase that. And then I do interviews with people that are in those specific activities uh, and, and get to a little bit more knowledge about like, hey, what is this about? What does it entail? And, and is it just like specifically ABC or is there, you know, in-betweens that one would like to know about SID activities? And um, so as of now, I've been focused uh, on Faction Warfare and I, I was not supposed to stay with Kaldari. I was actually supposed to do... Um, Kaldari, Galante, Mimitar, and Amar, I was supposed to try them all out for like a week and just kind of like mess around and, and try to see like what's the difference between being in this faction warfare or this one and the others. And for some reason I got stuck doing Kaldari. Um, and I think that happened because if you really look at it, right, and you say, okay, let's spend a week trying to do faction warfare in this specific militia, right? It's actually not a realistic like thing to figure out what you know faction warfare is all about so i kind of said you know for me to get my feet a little bit more wet and for me to better understand what faction warfare really is i thought the best thing to do is to continue being in the galant or the the kaldari faction warfare and tr try to learn like a little bit more about not just like okay i'm going in there i'm just plexing i'm getting lp you know things like that i'm actually now knowing even more than I thought I would ever not know for a while. So, yeah, Faction Warfare has been really, really good for for really spending more time into it. But yeah, I, hey, yo, hey, Amio, welcome on in, dude. How are you? Um, yeah, I'm only takes Faction Warfare seriously. Faction Warfare is kind of my life now. Right, exactly, right? It's uh, I've been to Gamble since 2012. Amazing. We see them a lot. Oh, shoot, absolute order, right. You know who I am, Amio, uh, Amio, Lyra, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, that's why I feel like I've been stuck in, in fact, Warfare with Kaldari for a while, because it's really teaching me a lot more than just getting LP and, you know, and I got a lot of experience with different fleets now, and even so much so that I've become a Kaldari Faction Warfare uh, pilot, uh, a FC, I should say. Um, for for Kaldari, so I thought that was like, damn, what a, what a cool new experience to have and to have trust in me, to to do stuff like that, and and I've always had interest in, like I said, every aspect within the game, and uh, even the as small as me just being in faction warfare and learning all the the things you could do in faction warfare, including being an FC. Um, so I thought that was something really cool to experience and yesterday I, I kind of officially met Chris and call and a couple other pilots that uh Chris was nice enough to give a whole bunch of free ships out to my my fleet that I was running which was turned to be a bigger fleet than I've ever ran before as an FC and uh we had a really cool content video yesterday thanks to again Chris call and his people um who partaked in that content and it was it was again it was just a great experience it was a lot of learning especially with being an fc and making these call outs and trying to get primaries and oh man it was it was chaotic it was a lot but it was also just a humbling and really awesome experience to fly cruisers fly catalyst fly a doctrine that had a more organized sense of um of a fleet right so yeah really really cool 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 time so i, I really appreciate that and you guys can check that action out. It's a lot of action that happened yesterday. The video is up. It has a frog and a squid in the title, so you can pretty much see it. It was literally yesterday's stream. Um, yeah, check it out. A lot of fun. Uh, let me read a little bit more here. Sorry. Uh, Emil Life. Lyra, don't know it was you. Everyone used to think FW was just farming. E right? And, and that's kind of what I thought. I thought, oh, it's just about making the LP and the IS, but... You know, it, it actually turned out to be a lot more than that. A lot more than that. That's like defending your home kind of thing, you know? Um, 
but it's always been amazing low sec content and small gang. Yes, small gang content is probably one of my favorite things now, like being in faction warfare or just better understanding about, you know, small warfare. Okay, so he said, okay, let me go here. Um, add that, add that. Okay. Warp drive active. Uh, let's see, we had a tie-dye fleet this Oh, wow, that sounds crazy. Yeah, the honor brawl at the end was awesome to FC. Yeah, man, that was so cool. And and thank you again for it, because honestly, just lots of fun. Lots of fun. I had a great time yesterday for, for that. And I realized yesterday about the... About the pod being killed, guys. I didn't even realize that that was... Like, that's why you guys sent me 80 million. I didn't even know I was in my training pod the whole time, dude. I had no idea. And, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys sending me the ist to replace that. And, you know, as you can see, I didn't even care. Like, I didn't, because I didn't, I, even now, like, looking at it, I'm like, I don't even care. Like, it is what it is, right? Because I was foolish enough not to remember to unplug my training clone and to actually, um, you know, realize that. So, at the end, I didn't care. But I do appreciate you guys, um doing that man that was that was crazy cool of you Warp drive active but yeah funny times holy still would reimburse it it was a fight club rule oh, okay well yeah man well thank you for that dude because i didn't know any better i didn't I, I was so surprised too i was like what i'm in my training clone and i'll show you the pod kill guys here so you can kind of see it but you know this was all my fault i just did not think about that at all or even know that i did that so i mean again ggs man i appreciate you guys sending out the, the is for the replacement of it but yeah the fucking <laughs> i have no idea no idea completely blanked that's what happens when you're just so like not thinking about what's going on you just kind of go 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 and that's all it was it was just me go 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 mode but that was cool man doing the um doing the whole thing with like the tournament rules that you guys set at if you will like and you actually like went through with that i thought that was super cool that we had an experience where you were off the beacon and both parties came in and we just kind of did what we did and i was just you know again i was trying to fc the whole thing and trying to make primary call outs things like that and so it, it that was crazy dude it was a really cool experience and i think that's what people fail to to take away from from fights as well as like they, they i think most people are just afraid of losing stuff but realistically like we all know like only on dock what you're you can you can afford and um you know there are people even when you're in a, in a fleet that get scared of losing their ships too and they're like oh i'm in hall i'm gonna i'm gonna bail but like for me i i don't bail right not not unless i know like there's a a proper situation like a proper fc saying okay guys this is it okay now let's get out this and that but like yeet fleets i i am in love with yeet fleets because i i think there's no pressure and people also are committed to the fight and i think that's what makes good content is when everybody is in it for the for the content and and trying to just finish it finish it off you know despite if if you are one guy alive still and and you're you know out of the team like fuck it like just yeet you know i think that's the funnest part about being in a in a yeet fleet situation or fcs that just tell you like hey this is a ye fleet i love that i love it i'm all about just fucking <laughs> just trying to see what happens you know what i mean I, I don't care that i lose my ship or anything i just want to go in there for the content and just have fun you know so that's that's kind of like my mo it doesn't matter if even if i was uh not the fc or not like i would just fucking eat myself because that's why i'm there i'm there to just eat bro I love I love PvP in this game. It's it does get really fun to do, especially if you're not like if you're new to PvP. It's so much fun. Uh, I fly lodge when I die. It normally after half the fleet. Yes, that's right, right. It's just the lodges seem to. Uh, and you know what's weird about that? Usually you think lodge is going to be the first ones to go out. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see that they uh, 
They left you alive, I guess, for that part. That's very interesting. Drive active. That's crazy, though. Your last, usually half the fleet's dead before you die. So, like, you know, yesterday we hit a pirate fleet, and they had two deacons as Lodgy, and I don't know if anything else was Lodgy in the fleet, but I made a big mistake there. I should have made called primary on the name of the Lodgies that were there, and instead I was just like, oh, just go after the, the deacons, right? And, and I think that's what really... Um, that's what really hindered our um, our success to that one. So uh, next time, now I know a little bit better to be like, okay, make names as calls callouts, not ships as callouts. And uh, and I feel like we would we would have been more successful in that situation if I had just you know made a name call out instead because apparently our our fleet was separating their their DPS on you know two different targets, two different deacons. And, uh, and that's why there was no successful takedown, and I think we didn't even kill anything, so that was also kind of like, ugh, but the good thing, again, it was a Yeet fleet, so, like, nobody was like, oh my god, why did you, why did you do that, kind of thing, so, it was, it was nice. Um, most FCs don't target a Lodgy because they want a fight, yeah, right, and that's, that's what I agree with as well, I think that makes most sense, is to get the fight you know and and shoot the other things and then maybe if there's room for it we call hey you know take out logi but yeah generally i i agree with that statement saying that uh that fc's mostly want to get uh get a fight right because you're not fighting uh logi and you don't get any content and, and most times it's not even worth uh isk wise to just quickly kill a lot i mean it could be i guess but from my experience looking at stuff like this i feel like Obviously, you want to kill big things more than you want to kill, like, a Lodgy ship, but at the end of the day, that also helps your, your fleet if the Lodgy is down from their side, right? Uh, yes, you got to fo- yeah, you got to focus fire, right, exactly, and and that was my biggest mistake with that Pacific fleet call out there that we went to aggress to those, uh, those thingies. Wow, that would be actually a good kill, to about 200 mil off that, uh, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean, right? Like, there, there's definitely Lodgies that you can tell that are going to be worth more than, like, say, a Deacon Lodgie, right? Deacon Lodgies, actually, I don't even know what a Deacon Lodgies would be, but take care, brother. Um, So I don't even know what that's about, but I can understand, yeah, if it was, like, a bigger Lodgie ship, like your Augur Navy Issues or Augurs, I don't know, whatever ones they are, and then that makes sense, I think, if you want to get a Lodgie down, but... Yeah, cool, cool stuff, man. I I love fighting in, in Faction Warfare, and I think Faction Warfare provides a lot of good new player fa PvP, like, lessons, and just, it's more controlled to a degree. I don't say controlled like you're always guaranteed these things are going to happen, but it def definitely has a little bit more controllability to it, and even then, like, you could find some engageable targets to fight and make it even more fun to want to engage in other um other targets just more alike more often right without being like afraid of facing other other things scrimmy yeah for sure um and that's what i learned like i i have yeeted so many ships just to understand better what ships do what and like how they hold up against different different types of stuff that's out there and uh the one thing i do recommend that people shouldn't do as a new pilot is fly navy issued ships yet until they get a more of a basic understanding of the t1 version of those ships so that you can then be more mindful of like how to fly a navy issued ship but then you have ships that you won't have training in because like look at the hook bill look at the comet right they don't have a t1 haul for those ships but there's still similar ships that do similar to what they do so that's where i feel yeeting out t1 hulls and frigates especially if you're starting off is a great way to start with and uh, and yeeting those so yeah i think there's definitely a good good practice for new pilots looking to to get into faction warfare and uh getting pvp into their blood um i fly logi and i'm prim primaried at almost every single fleet when we fight uh Gaumil around oisin yeah i i feel like they're different fleets that are out there that also do things like that like you're saying spike where they primary the logi first and then go after sid fleets uh, or ships and maybe that's because they have that experience to know what should be primary and what shouldn't be 
And maybe even the pilots themselves, they have that experience to have that knowledge of saying, oh, oh it's that guy who's flying that, that ship, and we know that his skills are XXX, and he'll be a crucial role to their fleet, so, you know, let's let's take out that guy first. And and besides even just being Lodgy, just in general, right? Like, And I've heard the conversation the other week about people having complaints about getting headshotted uh, as FCs, right? Be, be, apparently, like... That's a, I don't know, apparently it's a bad ethics to, to FC snipe or snipe an FC out of a fleet off the off the rip or something like this. I, I don't know completely if that makes sense, but that's what I've been hearing recently is like people getting kind of like annoyed by getting FC headshotted. Yeah, headshotting. Yeah. So I like and I was saying it yesterday. I said, you know, I, my mistake if I killed an FC within the fleets that we were running yesterday and having scrims with these guys because I didn't know who their FC is and I'm not aware of that because I just don't know who FCs are yet. Um, being new to faction warfare and new new to even the militia, right? Um, so I apologized if I did and they said it was okay because I don't think I did at all even primary anybody. Uh, and it was Chris. Chris was actually the FC and I didn't know that. So I just said sorry just because I, did, I, I had heard about this stuff being like frowned upon. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know if, if it's if it makes sense to be frowned upon or not. I don't know if it's like a big deal or not. But from what these guys were saying, it, it sounded like a big deal. Um, but I just, you know, I don't know. I didn't, I just said sorry. Because I just felt like, you know, I didn't want to be a dickhead and be like sniping people that were FCs when if they also felt the same way about headshotting. Like, I don't know that, right? But I I, I just said sorry, because <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to step on toes and be like, you know, fuck, I, my bad, you know, I, I, I don't want to ruin the fun of it. So, yeah, unless anybody wants to fill me in about, like, what they feel about headshotting, but I just know that from some people I've met, they said it's just looked frowned upon. Join the uh, Absolute Order and make 100 million a fleet. That's crazy, 100 million, nice. Uh, hearing about Lodgy being primary makes me want to run a bait Lodgy. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Um, so one thing about me, guys, so, you know, for anybody who's out here watching and they're, like, you know, doing recruiting, things like this, um, I primarily will never join any groups of corporations because I personally have my own credentials as a journalist and a broadcaster. Um, that showcases what Eve is all about and things. So my corporation is like my ID, right? So I'll, I'll show you right here quickly. The, I'm a member of the toilet paper. Um, it's literally me and my cousin who are in here, but my cousin doesn't really play or anything. So like he doesn't really do that. But um, this was literally only made to, um, to identify me as a, to have actual credentials and have credibility as a journalist. Um, uh, no, but I am, um, so that's kind of where I am when it came to having me do, um, doing what I do as my own corporation. And we're not to be confused with the French corporation called just toilet paper. We are the toilet paper, which is just me and my cousin, like I said, and we're just here as, a uh, myself anyway, my cousin doesn't, like I said, my cousin doesn't really play, but... I'm just here as a actual journalist. So I don't that's why I don't have bias towards like pilots that are from Galante or from Amar or Mimitar or wherever you are in any walk of life that you are in the game. I have no bias to you. I'm not here to take your 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 assets or I don't know, whatever it is that people do in Eve. I'm just here trying to have fun and play and, and understand the game and to showcase it to people so they can have fun as well and dabble their feet into, you know, Kaldari, Galante, Amar, anything. Anything they do. Exploration, wormholes. Like, we cover everything. The only thing I haven't done yet that I want to start, like, I want to learn and do is the incursions. Um, because I feel like that's something really cool and it, it, it's not a lot. It, people don't show it a lot and I feel like that'd be, and I know why they don't show it because obviously stream snipe and take all their loot, blah, 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 right? But anyways, let me quickly read the chat. Sorry, I was mum mumbling on. Uh, what logic do you, oh, he's talking to Buddy. I also preheat my reps. Okay, so they're talking to each other, headshotting. It's frowned upon. There you go. So it's why we leave you till, right, and, and see, that's exactly what I thought, so... Yeah, okay, so that's interesting. And I know a lot of people don't care that it's frowned upon, and I know some people do care. So 
I just don't know where people stand in, in as a whole, but I know there are individuals specifically that I know that are not about it. Um, hearing about logic being primary makes me go, yeah, break logic. Why did you name it in the toilet paper? Oh, sorry. Why did you name it the toilet paper? So I actually started off playing a game called DayZ, and I created a character named Felix Lee Jones. He's actually a journalist character for role playing in the game of DayZ, and I was inside of a. Um, I was inside of, uh, what do you call this? Um, a role-playing server in Daisy. Uh, again, I'll spell Daisy for people that maybe think I'm saying like the flower Daisy. I'm talking about like the game Daisy. Uh, and so in the role-play server, I was a journalist and the same idea. I'm a non-biased journalist. I had an accent, which is the Australian accent that you might've heard yesterday. And I went around and I just reported by, uh, getting uh, interviews done that I did live streams with as well, just so people can kind of, you know, look at the server and promote it. Uh, but that wasn't the reason why I did it. I did it because I actually enjoyed doing it, and that was like my thing. And so I would record, I would uh, interview all these factions that were inside of the server because Daisy has groups of people that are together, right? Like a faction or a a group or whatever you want to call it. Um, and they would, you know, hold the server down and have a certain role of what they would do as a faction. And I would go there specifically with just me, myself, and I. You know, take the danger in my hands. And I would go to their bases and I would ask them for an interview so that, that, you know, I can tell and share that story with people that were in the server that was aware that I have a live broadcasting thing. And I call it the toilet paper because we're full of shit to cover, right? We're full of shit to cover. I thought it was a funny pun that I would use or like a, a mean or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where it came from is uh, we're full of shit to cover. And I, I use the same with eve as why i joined eve i said well i need to better understand sorry let me see what this guy says uh, yeah will do um so i decided with eve because i have no idea what eve is or how to play it i said well i'll be a journalist so that i could learn a lot more about what eve online really is and and you know by being a journalist i can talk to people and you know even though i from what i understood a lot of people think you're a spy but like I, i'm not that's how that's not why i became a journalist i just did it because i want to learn about eve and i thought the best way to do that is by using my journalist role if you will my rp to better understand and interview people and even fleet up with people like from all all walks of life right because i want to learn everything you can learn about eve and um yeah and that's kind of like how everything started is with uh, me being in daisy and being a journalist here in eve online so i can learn about about the game and that's what i was talking about yesterday with these guys i said hey man if you could ever have an opportunity to sit down with me some of the fcs from galante uh some of the pilots themselves in galante called Dari as well um everyone like from every militia we're trying to better understand a little bit more of like a generalization about their position in the faction warfare and you know how they look at faction warfare what is their their mindset going into it and you know i'll even ask simple things like hey like what's your what's your favorite ships to fly um what's you know this and that like i don't know just very general outline stuff uh, just waiting for the invite for them. Yes, so I was thinking that if you guys are interested for Friday, yeah, Friday or tomorrow, no, Thursday, yeah, Thursday. So Thursday or Friday, I was thinking about maybe setting that up and getting you and, you know, if it's call, if it's people that I can get from the Kaldari side as well, and kind of just get us. So t there's two things I want to do. I want to try to get individually each pilot and person to talk with and then i want to try to bring a group together between uh within the groups here like kaldari and galante i want to bring us together and have a conversation and then same thing with mimitar and amar i want to bring us together and have a conversation and then also separately um the biggest interview i would have to say that i've done so far playing eve is i had an interview with brisk Rub rubel or brisk ruble or i can't i don't know how to say his his name perfectly but he came to my stream one day and then I had an interview with him and I thought that was really cool and I didn't even know who he was in my stream and everybody was like freaking out and this and that and in that time I just was like randomly I invited him to uh, my discord he joined and we had a conversation which was really fun and he really enjoyed it which was really cool as well. Um, if you ever want to see that interview I have it on my YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is the exact same as my name here on Twitch milk on edge 
the title of the stream is also called the interview with brisk rubel you have to go to about i think the 45 minute mark in the video is when i start and i met him in my stream and i have the interview there so i believe i made that in description but if not i, I believe that's where it's at the 40 45 minute mark but yeah he's really cool and i was happy that i could kind of talk to him and learn about him and i knew he had a show which was funny i literally a day before excuse me I, a day before i i'm seen him do on youtube the um the meta show and that's the very very goddamn hiccups that was the first time i ever heard about him and so that was something where i didn't know his name on 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 twitch or anything and i kind of like didn't realize who he was even on the meta show i just like listened to it because i like listening to, to podcasts and they were talking about some really like interesting things at the time that i was kind of like learning about so i i had tuned in um i guess it was not during their live stream but it was it was a little bit after that uh and i watched their videos like a few of them and then sure enough like literally the day after i'm i'm playing and like i said brisk comes in and uh again everybody in my chat was like oh my god and I didn't know, so I didn't, you know, I wasn't making a big deal of it. And I, and then even then, I don't make big deals of people because everybody's human, and just has different roles in the world, right? It's, but I still don't want to look at people and be like, oh my god, you're 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 so like, oh my god, right? So I, I personally just don't treat people like that, and uh, I treat everybody like a human, like I would anybody else, uh, right? Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, we came to talk in the stream, and then he jumped onto comms, and we had an interview, and then. You know, even before that, I was doing interviews with just general people like Eve University. I've had interviews with uh, Milton Arc Trooper uh, that we had interviewed. One guy I want to interview still is um, Mike uh, Mike Azir. I think he goes by his name. He's the guy who helps uh, new bros and stuff like that. Uh, and he's usually in um, the rookie chat that you can find him. And he does like things where he'll fly over to different stations and you know give new bros gifts things like that um oh perfect chris you can get some guys together yeah so uh, you know pilots um fcs or or just anyone really like anybody who's willing to have a conversation um i'd be grateful to to talk to anyone because that's kind of the idea is like i'm not specifically targeting just like fcs we're we're looking to talk to anyone who's available that wants to put their input and i also specifically would like to talk to pilots themselves who are just members of this militias right uh, because if you look at it and you talk to people who are like your average joe if you will in, in militias i think they have a great sense of also a conversation to be had um and and i say that because you know they don't have probably a crazy experience or they have right and it's nice to, to kind of talk to the guys who are also uh, and I don't mean this in any like rude way or saying that you're less than somebody else, but those pilots that are not like in the militia that are so involved, but they're just like maybe new pilots or pilots have been there for a while, but they don't really have any specific uh, roles that they play a part in the militia. They're just like, again, just there um, supporting it, right? They're supporting the militia. So a lot of my questions are not going to be about like, oh, by the way, you know, what, what are you doing today? You know, like nothing like this. It's more like, how is your experience in faction warfare? Um, what are some of the, you know, the highlights and some of the, some of the, the, maybe the negatives that you've had, you know, it's like little, little basic outline things that kind of give a generalization within being in faction warfare and being a part of Galante, or if it's an FC and talking to the FC and being like, you know, how is your experience being an FC? And, you know, those, I'm not going to waste all the questions now, but like, just like a, my point is I'm, I'm try, i want to make a very generalized conversation and and that way people don't have to be like oh no he's trying to spy and and this and the third you know weird like just weird things like that right um uh in the fleet chat oh you already did all that right i was gonna say if somebody can link where we're heading I'm gonna go after the medium here with the Merlin side. I, I think that's friendly. I'm pretty sure it's here in the same system we're in. Um, over here. Uh, yes. So that's that's friendly. Yep. 
Shall we? Sounds good. Um, but yeah, guys, um, just wait. Yeah, so I will. Um, do I? Ha I don't know if I have you guys on my Discord, but if you if you need to get get my Discord to add me, uh, my Discord is my name, Milk on Edge, and then it's. I think this is how that works, and that's my like my ID thing. So if you want to add me, so that way I could, um, you know, I could, um, I could uh, get you guys's like thing there, and we can obviously have further conversation uh, to coordinate a little bit more so between Thursday and Friday. But uh, if the weekend works better for more people, then I don't mind. Um, doing that as well so just give me your availability for who is here in the chat and then that way i can i can work around that kind of thing so i can understand like okay we'll uh you know we'll do this or we'll do that so uh, i have i'm usually pretty free so that's why I'm, I'm i like to know who what your schedules are so that way i could work with that because me i'm usually always free like doing interviews at any day of the week so that would just help me more so with things like that. And I think I just got a friend request from Bata. What is this? Uh, let me see. Okay. Next day would be. Wait, who is Bata? Hmm, is this. Is this old? No, this is new, right? Oh, here's friends. Sorry, I'm the wrong one. So I just accepted this person. Hello. Just so I know, I sent the person the message asking for your in-game name so I know who I'm talking to. I was just talking about that earlier. That's so funny. I did say hi to that person who may have just added me. By the way, are there drops on right now for anybody? Like, I, I don't know if there is actual drops happening right now for... Because, I mean, I finished my drops, I believe. I think we've got golems going. Is that what it is? I think it's golems. I'm not sure. I mean, it tells me that there is golem, but I, I can't remember if I've already got my golems or not. Let me double check. Mm, no, I haven't got it. Okay, so I guess... I, okay. Oh shit, they have the Bantam and the Navita skins, medic ones. Oh no way, they have the medic skins for the next one. Oh shit, GM week. When is that scheduled? Is it scheduled on the 24th? Oh, today! What? Today? Jeez. The golem was on the 22nd and ends on the 25th tomorrow. Okay, okay. Who got calls, Vervarg? Hmm, good question. Uh, actually, I don't know, because Zekiel's been down, so, like, I haven't even been able to, um... To do much with with information which really sucks dude i really wanted to figure out who does what and like no idea damn a draugr with ec bro that's fucking nuts that's crazy Imagine you see I'm life. That's crazy. Hey, this caller is Ferox. Oh no, call, call. What happened, bro? Call. This happened today? No, this happened on the third. Oh, this happened way earlier. Holy shit, dude! You got you got ECM to death. That is sad, sad death. Rip. Is protesting. Sorry, Pokey Catch. 
What do you see saying, sir? Uh, prote they're like, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Send us money. Oh no, is it a money thing now? Is it a money? They went to a ship to men. What factions are you supporting? So, I support all factions, to be fair, but right now, I'm in Kaldari, um, I'm in Kaldari Faction Warfare at the moment. But I do, as a non-biased journalist, I actually support all groups, and I'm not somebody who plays Faction Warfare to, like, hate on someone or, you know, have arguments with other people and stuff like that. Like, I'm here to, yes, be a part of Faction Warfare, and also i'm here to you know learn about it and so yeah i don't really have enemies i guess to say or hope i don't have any and uh yeah i i, I welcome all people do you have a fleet up if so some viewers join yeah we usually do that as well uh kang we actually do have fleets that we get people to join into publicly uh that's my in-game channel if ever you wanted to like be a part of a fleet right now i'm not in a fleet with uh with like something i'm doing that's right, frenemies. There you go. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so right now I'm not running a fleet, but I am in a fleet, but I will be leaving the fleet because I'm not going to be doing what they're doing momentarily. Uh, we have some guys who are going to be branching here in a moment, so I'm temporarily in the fleet, but not like doing anything with the fleet at the moment, if that makes any sense. Yo, I caught that Raichu. Let's go, Raichu for the win. I love Pokemon, by the way. I'm a big Pokemon fanatic. We started today, I was supposed to do Crimson Harvest event with Exploration, which I'll probably end up doing after this situation. And uh, one thing led to another, I ended up coming to the field, the battlefield. And we even ran a battlefield too. So a lot of crazy stuff happened today. But yeah, join my in-game channel. Um, that's where you'll find me usually every single day. And on top of that, that's where I, I have all of the people that's in the community that joins there. So you will see, you know, Galante pilots, you will see Amar Mimitar, you'll see pirates, you'll see wormhole people, you'll see indie people, mining, like anybody. Everybody and anybody is welcome in the channel. That's just the way it works. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Thank you for the, uh, the linkage. Yes, I read this actually. I actually read this. Thank you for that post. The freak wave for finding the post. Jeez, good stuff. Yeah, I was reading it yesterday, funny enough. Yeah, we allow links here, guys. I was obviously, you know, people have been pretty good with that, and we haven't had to disable it, so... Keep on that good work, guys. We appreciate you guys being good sports with uh, following the rules and, you know, not posting, like, garbage. Because if you do post garbage, then we will be banning you. Um... Because you've been warned already about that stuff. Uh, do you still play? Yes, I do. I've been playing it last night, actually. So I just don't do a lot of streaming on DayZ, like as of more recently, because of the drops happening with CCP and me being in the campaign. So I've been trying to focus fire on that. And then um, generally, I will still put up a DayZ stream like periodically through the week, if not weekends. Uh, but yeah, I definitely still play. Do you play by yourself uh, on PC? Oh, good. I like to hear that. That's that's what I like to to want to have is viewers want to watch my DayZ streams because that would be great. Um, generally, we don't get as many people watching our DayZ streams, so I kind of uh, I kind of want to get that as well to happen because I am really actually pretty prominent in the DayZ community as well. Like I have a lot of people that are partnered to DayZ right now that I run with and I play with. Um, so it's not like I don't have a foot in the door, but I just don't play it as much just because I am running these drops with, uh, CCP. Uh, who's Daisy never heard of her? <laughs> that's a game. It's not a, it's not a person. It's a game. It's actually a really good game that's been recently, like, more so over the years updated, uh, compared to what it used to be before, um, like, maybe 10 years ago. It, it was probably not as, like, good, but... Now it's like actually really good. Tristan here, let's get to that beacon.
Yeah, Daisy is a great game. It has evolved for so many years, um, and as of recently, more so now, it's been just like really good. Like, I, especially there's going to be a new update coming out here by the uh, beginning of November. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well. But yeah, Daisy is great. It's a, it's like an open world, like like Eve, right? Open world concept, uh, sandbox kind of game. There's no like. There's no exactly, like, an objective, right? And uh, the point is to survive, right? As long as you can survive. There's a lot of modern weapons in there, like M16s, M4s. There's even, like, Russian-made guns and, and things from, like, the U the EU. So, like, you have things like the AK, the AK-74, which is... They have the AK-74U, which is the baby version. They have the AK-74, which is the father, I call it. And then they have a KAM which is the same as the K, uh, AK, but the difference is it shoots different bullets. So the both the, the AK-74U and the AK-74 both shoot 5.56 by 3.9, and the KAM, which is it's just weird, right? The game's got weird, like, AK versions. Uh, the big KAM shoots uh, 7.62 by 3.9. Um, they have M4s, M16s, they have FAMAS in there. Uh, they have an M14 Grand, if you will, like the like that old school M14, uh, which is a DMR. They have uh, Scorpions, which are like you know your MP5. Oh, sorry, you have the Scorpion. They have an MP5. They have a UMP. They have revolvers, Desert Eagles. They have Glocks. They have uh, 14, uh, yeah, 1411, the, the 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 45 one, right? Um, they have a lot of modern guns in there, pistols, submachine guns, they have swords, like medieval swords, they have, like, a lot of role-playing type of stuff there with clothing, uh, there's hunting in the game to survive, there's kill other players and take their gear, there's, you can make bases on there, oh man, it's, it's a, it's a great time, Daisy is such a great, especially when you have friends. Um, what, okay, so then, well, if they don't have kestrels and hook mills, they've lost me. <laughs> hilarious it's like if they don't have this then i'm god bud that's so funny that is really funny no oh, we got five minutes left yeah we're just plexing right now we're getting like uh offensive plexing happening which is nice we're getting a lot of uh, LP. Um, the one thing I'm worried about is my standings with Galante, which is not affected, which is super good. I'm trying to get positive because I would like to fly Galante militia just so I could, like, again, just learn more about, like, how Galante are as a militia compared to Kaldari. But the thing is, I have really, really bad standings right now. Like, really bad standings with the Union, like, point negative seven. Yeah, uh, you probably want to stay out of the EHA. We sort of moved into... Yeah, I saw that you guys were... I heard about that earlier. Um, so that's been, like, very interesting. It's not heavily contested or nothing, but yeah, I've I've noticed you guys are... You guys are holding things really well, by the way. Really well. Especially your OISIX. You guys dropped that down from 80% to literally stable, practically, to 2.6. I thought that was crazy when I saw that. I was like, what? So that was kind of a sad day for Kaldari. Yeah, see, I see. If I ever went Galante, I would never like be like a traitor just because somebody pissed me off in Kaldari or something like this. Like I do it because I want to learn about each militia. And yes, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon because, as you saw, I have negative seven standings with the with the Federation. Um, but it's like, for me, it would be more of like an eye-opening kind of thing. Like, okay, do they have good fleets? Uh, you know, how is their FCs doing? Like, is it more like a better environment than, say, Kaldari? Is there less AWOXers? Is it, um, you know, how is the fights going on? Are they, I know they're outnumbered, that, that I know. But their fleets are amazing, by the way. Like, Galante have a, such a great fleet comp. And they're usually pretty good at pushing shit out. And... And I like that about Galante, that they have good fleets. Stabber outside. I'm in system with some of us guys, but Stabbery outside here. Uh, we are in the medium navy one.
Uh, I put the ID in, in fleet chat. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, sorry. Ouch. But yeah, my as you can tell, my stats are bad. But anyways, I really like Galante for that. If you made an alpha, you could come to one of my fleets. No one ever leaves Gal Mill. <laughs> That's so funny. And you know what? I mean, like I said, I, I actually do enjoy watching fighting against you guys. Like, even, like, if I ever was in a fleet with somebody or if I, like, just, like, observe you guys as a fleet. I've always noticed that the Gal fleets are always so OP. Like, they, they just kill it. They they take over and they'll fuck you up. Like, when it comes to Kaldari, yes, we have some, some good fleets, but I've noticed that we're not always as efficient as Galante are. Make an, make an alpha, fair enough. Got something on the nose, yeah. Wow, bro. <laughs> yeah, I want to get that skin though, the red eyes black dragon skin. Freaking love it. Uh, we practice trading blows with some of the best low sec PVPers. So we got pretty, yeah, man, like, it's crazy how, like, I swear to God, every single time I I was in a fleet against you guys, if it's not, like, you specifically, but, like, Galante fleet, I swear we've always had to leave. We always have to leave. We always have to reform. We always get killed off. It's just, like, I, I find that your pilots are way more SP skilled and in experience as well. You guys have such good experience, like... A lot of new bros come to Goldari, so we have the numbers, but we don't. I don't think we have the SP or the skills for a lot of our pilots, in my opinion. I maybe I could be completely wrong, but from observation and playing in Calmel Calmel for over six months, I've been seeing that you guys usually dominate the the first the first runs of fleets, uh, and even sometimes the second fleets going in. Um, punched snuff box in the face the other night. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You guys, holy hell, bro. What the am I looking at right now? Oh, my lord. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I see Isaka there was on it. Oh, my god. That is crazy. Yo, what is going on with this Legion's? Damn. L goes outside. Wow. Bargus. Dude. Jeez. Uh, it's in flea chat. Again, I'm in a different system just in case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to line out. Because it's done. It's friendly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should have paid attention. I keep saying that to myself. I keep forgetting to look at local. Oh, yeah, that's true. So that would have been... Could have been... Yeah, we've just finished it. Alright, so I think I'm going to park up this and go do some exploration. This is a crazy freaking thing, by the way. This battle report, that is nuts. Yo, Trip, what's, welcome on in. How are you? And still lost the Astera. Oh, no! Got pretty good. Anchored a new Astera right after. We only put them there to bait frigs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. And we got one. Jeez. That's hilarious. Welcome on, Chris. Uh, Trip, sorry. How are you? Good. How long have you been playing Eve for? What's your favorite thing to do in Eve? Hey, Pella Piper in the chat. We should grab that. Poke a catch. Wow. 
warp drive active. Nice <laughs> guy. Just the badge. It's supposed to be veg, though. No, it's veg. Poor veg. Docking permission you got, you got, Docking you got voluntold. Oh, template. Oh, templates. Um, um, what is that called? Templates. Some is it templates with more than the word templates, or it's just templates? Is this trip like the FC trip? Cal, yes. <laughs> Is that who we're talking to right now? Is that, um, uh, what's the name here? Tricks? Tricks? Is it? Is that what it was? Trip? Trip is tricks? Or is that somebody else I'm thinking about? Cal, nice. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying flying freaking a cruiser like this. This is sick. Trip Cassell. Yes. Okay. Why do I feel like I've, we've, I've, we've flown together before? Why do I do that? I feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's my friend. He's like, I miss you, Obi. I'm like, I know. We haven't played for so long. Um. Oh yeah, Templus Kel. That's a. Uh, that's um. What's his name that runs that? Um. On, on, on Corvus. Is it Corvus? Or am I thinking about something else? No, Corvus is low sec kiting, right? Shit. Who the hell runs? Who runs this group? Why can't I remember? Why does my brain not work? I swear I had some Lazla or or hmm Spartan okay Skyless Corvus is yeah oh pro eight pro Jew whatever that stands for ah okay was around oh by the way if you just joined us uh like trip um if you are a kaldari pilot or a galante pirate uh pilot sorry um and if you're a like just a pilot and even an fc right i would love to have you guys in a interview to talk with you um either thursday or friday um so if if ever there or if that doesn't work um please let me know uh a time that would work my my discord is like my discord name if you want to add me is this one right here um i think that's what my discord i'm pretty sure that's what it is and uh if you add me and this let me know like what's your um availability then i can kind of put together some stuff uh pirate oh they're coming they're coming a pirate <laughs> and and actually you know i want to actually talk to some pirates as well because being like seeing them so prevalently inside of faction warfare i feel like that would also be a good part of a conversation is to talk to a pirate um or pirates like a couple of them uh i think that would be um i really like good a good conversation um and especially again in a group setting and as well as an individual setting um with these interviews because i don't want anyone to feel like you know or I, I hope it's civilized is what I'm trying to get. I don't want it to be one of these interviews where somebody's like biting each other's heads off. So if you are somebody who's like easily tempered by stuff or whatever, then then probably not best suited for your persons to be in the interview. But uh, if you are somebody who's willing to have an open conversation and discussion with us and you're not, again, like you know, hot headed or anything and not that I'm going to be asking questions that would be you know in, in, instigating anything because i'm not i don't want to you know i'm not like i said i'm non-biased journalist i'm just here to learn about the experiences that you guys have in both groups and all groups really 
But specifically for this week, I would like to try to get Gal and Kaldar, Kaldar and Galante uh, together and Pirate and see if we could have that kind of conversation about, you know, whatever it is. Uh, that like Well, not whatever it is, about faction warfare. Uh, and, and especially now, coming into the uh, the new faction warfare that will be happening um, here. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm my thing wants to go on. So add me, right? And if you add me, let me know that you're adding me, like, if you... And I accept your friend request, right? So that way I'm not, like, completely in the dark of, like, well, who is this person? <laughs> right? So that's kind of what we do here as well on the channel, guys. If you don't know, I play a journalist. I play an Australian journalist. So we'll have my accent going when I do that. Um, and uh, we like to interview people all across the board of New Eden. And uh, that's kind of what I was just talking about now, is, like, trying to get some of the militia guys out here and have a conversation. All right, so I had to clear a bit. I have to clear so much stuff. A lot of this is milk, guys. A lot of these systems have milk in it. So, like, look at this. Okay, so this is my... No, that one's... That's my Amar. Yeah, because of that. We have vintage wine, apparently, here. Uh, we have more milk here. 8,000. 80,000. We have more milk here. We got more milk here. We got milk here. Milk. All this milk. More milk. That's not milk. That was my... Like, something I used to stage off of, but it's like garbage. I've been slowly moving. Uh, milk, milk, more milk. I must have almost millions worth of milk in a Mars space for for buddy who, who apparently contracted me all this milk. Like, look at this. We have a thorax I've never used. Um, more milk, 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 more, some gems. My probe that I've never been able to get back ever since I landed there. Look at all that milk. So I have almost a half of my list is milk. Yes, there's milk on the edge of the galaxy. Literally. Like, like just, just everywhere, bro. Like, milk all over the place. You need milk? I'm delivering. We have a channel point. It's called milk delivery. And that's not even all the milk. We have more milk. We have more milk. I have slaves in here for some reason. Must have been a mission I was doing. What other milk do I have? We have catalyst here. We got this random stuff in Kanaka. Got a random stuff here. No milk in there. No milk there. Ottoman. We just got some random shit in Ottoman. We got a rifter skin that we gotta give away. Galante's asleep. Yeah, there must be some Galante that are awake. Not all, though. What else? This is no milk. This has my other station. Okay. No milk in there. Actually, was that milk I just saw? No, it wasn't. I don't even know where this station is. This must be like Galante. Uh, we have tags, okay, because that's state protecting Lowe's. No, that was back in faction when we had Hey Die Less area done. Yeah, but that's that's a lot of milk. That's a lot of milk, bro, that we got. Oh my god, we got. I've been trying earlier today. I was like, we got even some implants randomly. Yeah, earlier today. I have a dragoon. What? I have a dragoon over here. Yo, what kind of Dragoon do I have over here? There's even milk there. Yeah. Oh, it's an empty rigged Dragoon. Go figure. Oh, that's right. This was supposed to be for the giveaway for the skin. So if anybody wanted, like when we do the giveaway, we'd have to give the skin and then in Jita, and then this would be the location for the giveaway. Um, For the ship itself, if you wanted to pick it up. Wow, man. Yeah, we got too much shit that we need to empty, though. And a lot of it is in low sec because of faction warfare, so like that I'm not worried about, but... Like, look, we got radioactive waste in here. We've got milk in there. We got 10 of them. I don't even know what this place is. What the hell is this place that we wear? Let me double check. Our, oh, this is a high set. Oh, the Sisters of Eve. Oh, okay. So I, okay. Interesting. Sisters of Eve. This must have been the epic arc that I was doing. And got all, yeah, that's right. This was the epic arc. I actually uploaded that today, guys, on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you ever want to see, like, the walkthrough gameplay on that. And we have, like, a sabers, apparently, over here that I never touched before. Because I don't have skills for it. Random shit in Oiks and all that. Costello. That was like safety asset, but it's like... I think it's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Doesn't even let me open it, apparently. Uh, ah, shoots. Yeah, Valil. Oh my god, I remember when we were in Valil and, and I was able to dock up in Valil one day. This was back in old school Vax Warfare time when I was a journalist, I think. And I was just bringing ships over. Holy shit, I got too many things in Valil, bruv. Evaloon, yeah. 
in the lurry, Devin. Yeah, man, we got we got a lot of ton of stuff. But anyways, a lot of milk in general though, over here. Tons of it, tons of it. And here I've got stuff in Pockfin, like my my what do you call that? My Rifter, Adventure apparently. Oh, that's when the ore thing was going on. That's why I had that. And I bought expanded cargo holds that I needed to, to transfer more shit. Plus, there's more milk and pockfin, guys. Hell yeah. So we have a lot. We have a lot of a lot of interesting things, places, and yeah, we need to get rid of. But my point of what I was doing right here was pretty sure we have kill rights apparently on sniper. That's so funny. I remember that day. Where was I? Uh jump clones, augmentate. Right, so home station, self-destruct. Okay, so what I'm doing now, guys, is we are going to quickly end the stream because this was a Faction Warfare content. Then I'm now going to reopen my stream and we're going to be doing the uh, Crimson Harvest event with uh, Exploration. Uh, I'm going to be getting into my my Metamorphosis that I freaking love to death. That I Oh yeah, it's apparently it's somewhere else. I thought I had it here. I must have it somewhere else um, at the moment. I think I have it set over here somewhere. But yeah, that's we're going to do some exploration. So I'm going to end the stream here. We're going to open it up in like maybe 10 minutes because I'm going to quickly do a little break. And then I'm going to pop back up the stream and we're going to be doing some exploration because I want to get my my stuff done. I've been um, slacking the last few days because of Faction Warfare taking my time. And we are currently set up with uh, almost completing it. We're literally like almost almost done. And uh, we also want to get a lot of the more of the, the rewards because the rewards is what I think is more important. Not the, the skins are fine, but the rewards is just a lot better. But anyways, thank you guys for watching Faction Warfare content for the, what we did have. Uh, I will be, a, of course, doing more Faction Warfare again. Uh, but yeah, we're going to stay doing the Metamorphoses and doing Crimson Harvest events. So if you're interested in exploration and kind of like getting a little bit of information on that, um, stick around for the next stream when you see me pop me up here in, like I said, about 10 minutes. Oh yeah, that's why I first came to the stream. It was the Metamorphosis and it was, and was new and you were the folks, the one of the folks flying it. That's right. I very rarely ever see anybody flying the Metamorphosis, even when I'm doing these like Crimson's Harvey. Like I've, I've not seen one Metamorphosis. I've seen just purely Estero, Imicus, you know, Herons, Heron Navy issues, buzzards, but this is my baby. It kind of looks like an eyeball right there, and like, I don't know, it's kind of funny looking, the uh, the ship. Like, if you really look at this thing, like, it really looks like it's looking at you, right? It's just, I don't know, it looks like some eyeballs on the two sides there. But yeah, I love this ship. One of my favorite ships ever, and I've gone some PvP kills on it. We'll, uh, I've killed three explorers in this ship already. We almost got another one when I put up my eyes before... My other metamorphosis has 10 kills on it. And that's PvP, the one I have on that one. That was a lot of fun. But anyways, I don't want to keep dragging this on, guys. Thank you so much for joining us here in this stream. Uh, again, 10 minutes from now, I'll pop my stream back up if you're willing to join me for that. And we're going to be in the metamorphosis, and we'll be doing some Crimson Harvest. So, 